Everyone knows you can lose weight on keto, but what about the health effects? What exactly is keto good for? Let's find out. There are a number of health conditions that keto can be helpful for. They can be divided into four main groups. Metabolic health, brain health, gut health, and other health effects. First, metabolic health. This is the big one and it's related to weight, blood, sugar, and the fat storing hormone insulin. These factors all drop and tend to normalize on keto even if they start out high. The most obvious of these metabolic health conditions beyond obesity is type 2 diabetes. A keto low carb diet is great for reversing type 2 diabetes and it makes perfect sense if you eat less of what turns into sugar in the body, carbs, then high blood sugar levels will go down and tend to normalize. This lowers insulin and when insulin is generally low for a long time, insulin resistance improves. There are a number of high quality studies showing reversal of type 2 diabetes on keto low carb diets. Importantly, Keto is a super powerful tool for people with type 2 diabetes. So powerful that you could become too healthy for your diabetes drugs, so the drugs could drop blood sugar levels too much, resulting in low blood sugar, which is potentially dangerous. To avoid this, you may have to reduce the doses of any diabetes medication, especially insulin. It is critical that you know how to handle this and you should discuss it with your doctor before you start a keto diet so that you can do this right in a safe way. Type 1 diabetes can also benefit. You can't reverse it or cure it like type 2 but keto can be very helpful to maintain normal blood glucose levels and reduce the need for insulin. People still need insulin, but far less. And again, with type 1, it's hugely important to know how to correctly decrease insulin doses. So discuss it with your doctor. Another metabolic factor that improves rapidly on a keto diet is hypertension or high blood pressure. It tends to drop and normalize and this can sometimes happen quickly starting within days. If you are on blood pressure medication, again, your blood pressure may become too good, too normal for your medication, so the drugs could result in low blood pressure. You would have to reduce the dose or stop taking it. Again, talk to your doctor about this. Other metabolic problems that tend to improve are PCOS a common hormonal issue for women and some cholesterol abnormalities. Specifically, triglycerides and HDL, the good cholesterol, tends to improve. Secondly, brain health. Many people use keto for the feeling of constant energy and mental performance they get. But there are also several serious brain disorders that tend to improve in a very empowering way. The first one and the most well studied is epilepsy. Keto diets have been used for about 100 years to treat epilepsy in children and it's become more and more popular. It's been shown in studies to work about equally well in adults and many people used it to control their epilepsy with less medication or even without it. And this has important benefits as epilepsy drugs can have side effects like decreased cognitive abilities or even personality changes. Using keto to be able to decrease or even eliminate the need for medication is a very empowering tool for anyone with epilepsy. Another common benefit is a reduction in migraine headaches. There are a few promising studies already and many, many stories from people who have dramatically improved their symptoms. It can definitely be worth trying keto for anyone with severe migraine problems. Some people even report improvement when it comes to ADHD symptoms. Now, this condition is less studied and the evidence is still mostly anecdotal, but it could be worth testing it to see if symptoms improve. The third group is gut health. One of the most common health problems in the world is IBS or irritable 
bowel syndrome. The common symptoms include bloating, abdominal pain, cramping, diarrhea. It's considered a chronic disease with no cure. But a very common experience on low carb and keto diets is the symptoms of IBS dramatically improve within days. And studies show the same thing and there is a good explanation. Eating fewer carbs and especially certain fermented carbs called food maps results in less gas production in the large intestine, reducing bloating, cramping. Another gut issue that tends to improve in many people is heartburn. There are at least two studies showing a positive effect reducing syndromes and making it possible for people to get off their heartburn medication. When it comes to other even more serious gut diseases like Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, some people have reported impressive improvements, but there are no studies yet to verify this effect. The fourth and final group is other health conditions. And there are a few exciting ones. A keto low carb diet can be very helpful for sugar addiction or addiction to sweet processed foods. This is the real problem for a lot of people. And just like abstinence from alcohol is essential for anyone with alcoholism to recover or nicotine abstinence is required to get free of a smoking addiction. In the same way, someone with an addiction to processed carbs and sugar needs to avoid it to get free of that addiction. It is hard like breaking any addiction, but it can be done. Finally, something really exciting. A keto diet lowers insulin and other growth factors like EGF-1, and this could potentially slow down cell deviations, which opens up some amazing possibilities. Maybe a keto diet could prevent or reduce the risk of cancer. Perhaps it could even help in the treatment of certain cancers. A number of human studies are now ongoing and Preliminary results look promising. It's too early to know for sure, but this could be huge. Another equally exciting possibility is that this reduction in growth factors and cell divisions might increase longevity, essentially prolonging the average lifespan of people eating keto. Again, this is still completely unproven based on theories and very preliminary science. It will be decades or more before we know for sure but it's a very intriguing possibility. And some people stay on a keto low carb diet because they believe can prevent diseases and prolong life. In the meantime, before we know for sure about this, there are some very real defined health effects today. To summarize metabolic effects, obesity, diabetes, blood pressure and PCOs, brain health, energy, mental performance, epilepsy, migraine, and maybe more, gut health, IBS, common issues like bloating and heartburn improve, and you get a calmer stomach. To me personally, I just love the energy I get and the reduction in hunger and my focus, the brain power is incredible. I really take advantage of all benefits and simply, I love it. Not having to snack all the time is a great freedom and it might be great for my future health as well. All my health markers are great after a keto diet and this includes blood pressure, cholesterol, blood sugar and much more. Now let's move on the other important topic. In the next part, we will talk about the most common mistakes on keto. I will see you in part 9. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. To your success, your health and wealth mentor.